Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another FGO video reaction. I'm going to react to uh, two more FGO AM fees. Now this was a recommendation to me. So if you have any other recommendation, you can do it in the comment section and I'll check it out. So, all right. So this is, uh, I have no idea what this is about since I said this was a recommendation. Uh, I think this is like a, some kind of a recap AM fee and uh, i'm going to check out two videos uh like i always do i'm going to check out the first uh, amv talk about it and then the second amv and then talk about it again uh talk about the other one so yeah let's get started okay so first of all uh, i'll be linking down these videos in the description box the original videos if you've not checked it out and you want to you can definitely go to the description box and you'll find it and uh, yeah so oh also the uh, music is definitely copyrighted as far as i can see here so yeah the mu music will be completely the audio will be completely muted and i'll be giving a timer over here so that if you want to you can play the video alongside my reaction so yeah so without further ado let's get started let's check out the first amv so all right uh, i'm not sure what the title is uh, it's written in Japanese, so I can't read it, but yeah, let's check this out. So here we go Fate Grand Order AMV 1 reaction. Start. What the? This is Tamamo. Whoa. Damn, that's a. Uh... Oh, this is um, Cosmos in the Lost Spells AMV. Alright. Damn, this song is... I've never heard this song before. I'll have to check it out later on. This song as well. Okay. Yeah, this is Lost Belt related. Damn, Lost Belt 4 was amazing. So, such a unique concert. I loved it, especially because I'm an Indian myself, you know. <laughs> Damn, Jina Khan Karna. Wow, this song is really great. All uh, right. Oh, this is related. Not only uh, this is Lost Belt Four related. Okay, this AMV. All right. Damn. <laughs> wow, that really mm, mm, mixed well with the visuals. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, okay, William. Oh. All the Lost Bills stories are really emotional, especially all of them. Yeah, all the four. Like, each and every one of them has such well obviously we are culling complete you know like we're culling okay yeah as i was saying we're culling a complete like civilization and all the people inside <laughs> damn what the hell god of face All the people living in there and... Oh, this is Jinnaku, isn't it? I really, like... <sighs> oh, Live Masters. There's someone who's definitely waiting for a nobody like you. I think that's what Karna said, as far as I understood. Oh, 
<laughs> Lost World 4 ending was completely Naruto, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> Arjuna versus Karna. Like, damn, I love that section. Ah, Pepe. And a slippers. Wow. Damn. Wow, this, yeah. This is a great compilation of the scenes. Okay, is that it? Is that it? Oh no, this is, this is the trailer after that. So this uh, MV was related to Lost World 4, completely. Yeah. It's like a real good compilation of all the important scenes and all the, like, you know, emotional portions. Damn. Okay, that's the end, I think. Yep. All right, so <clears throat> that was it. That was this AMV. I loved the compilation of all the scenes. It it just picked out all the excuse me, emotional and what can I say, like really great scenes of Lost Bell Four. And Lost Bell Four was I loved it so much. Like it had so many things. Like you know, like the whole thing with Arjuna going on then like you know uh <clears throat> what was the girl's name uh asha wasn't it yeah yeah i forgot her name for a second there uh, asha i think that was her name or i meant like forgive me if i'm wrong so yeah that like you know uh, like you know the whole thing that was happening with her lakshmi bai like you know there was a little lakshmi bai story a little jinako story like everything little pepe story uh, all all the characters had like individual what can i say like fla like spotlight on them and, like small little sections which were kind of dedicated to them and everyone had like a really gr like quite a big role to play and it was, it was so good i loved it and obviously like i am a little bit biased on ab about lost bell 4 because you know like it, it's it's my home country where this is all happening india so <laughs> i'm a bit biased but still like you know without the bias in itself the story itself was so good and it was like you know like just like all the other lost bells i loved it and for currently lost bell 4 is obviously my top you know like in my ranking of the lost bells if i had to rank the lost bells i'll probably put Lost Belt 4 at the top, then I'll put the Scandinavian Lost Belt. I loved the whole, like, you know, Skadi's, the, you know, the, you know, the whole, uh, what do you call it, the Norse mythology that we had in Lost Belt 2, you know, I really loved that. And after that, I'll probably put um, China and then I'll put um, Anna, uh, Russia. So, yeah, and I think by the end of this year, we're probably going to get Lost Belt 5, won't, won't we? Yeah, I've, I've heard that Lost Belt 5 is really good. I'm also looking very forward to that as well. I'll definitely make a gameplay, like, you know, uh, like, you know uh, what do you call that, video uh, series on my channel as well when I play it. So, yeah, anyways, so this AMV, it was fantastic. So, lots of things. Oh, one thing I wanted to say here is, um, like, can you guys let me know one thing? Like, I'm really interested in actually uh, knowing Jinako's story. You know, like the whole like dynamic between Jinako and Kana. I think uh, Jinako's story is um, shown in uh, I think Fate Extra CC, isn't it? What was it called? Just a sec. Fate Extra. What was the name? The sequel of Fate Extra. Fate Extra CCC. Like Jinako's story is in that, isn't it? As far as I know, because I don't think Fate Extra has Jinako in it. So, and Fate Extra CCC does not have an English translation. So, uh, I guess we'll ha I'll have to wait for it to actually get a translation, won't I? Because I really want to, because I know, like, I, think, I think like in YouTube there's like uh, translated, you know, the whole gameplay is translated in a way. 
but I myself also want to play the game, you know, so that's why I'm kind of waiting for that as well. I don't know when this will get translated. Um, I don't know, but I really am so interested in like in knowing Jinako and Karna's like whole story. It, it looks really interesting in a way. Uh, and the little like, you know, hints we got in FGO Lost Belt 4, I became even more interested after that, knowing what her actual story is, you know. So yeah, like this, like seeing this MV kind of reminded me of that, like, you know, the little section in the end where Karna was kind of like, you know, I think that section where Karna was telling Jinako that there will be someone waiting for you, uh, uh, something like that. So yeah, that scene really like, you know, made me more interested in it. And uh, yeah, the uh, audio and the visuals were very well synced, you know, like the whole scene of um lakshmi by screaming and you know the scream in the audio as well was something <laughs> really interesting and uh, yeah it, it it really meshed very well and uh, yeah that was great it it i think it this this small little five minute amv i think it it contained all the important portions of the lost belt you know the whole thing with arjuna and then we see uh, like you know the thing with nezha william tell asilipas asha Lakshmi by Rama as well. Obviously, Arjuna versus Karna was also shown, and uh, Jinako, Karna, and what else? Oh, we also saw Koyanskaya and a little bit of Asha Doman as well. You know, and then the last scene of Asha crying, you know, crying into sleep. Yeah. yeah, it was sad. All the lost bells are so sad, especially the ones which involve little children. Uh, the second lost belt and the fourth lost belt so yeah all right so that was it that was this this was the first amv that i'm i was i'm going to that i reacted to now i'm going to check out the next amv this is again it's the title is in japanese so i cannot read it but yeah this is also a recommendation so let's check this out um this is uh my reaction to the fate grand order AMV number two. I'll be linking down the original videos in the description box. You can go check it out. So let's get started. Here we go. Okay. Wait, this is Uminoko's. Yeah, this is Uminoko's song. Uminoko no Nakukoroni. Wow, I never. Okay. Epic of the Remnant. What is this? Media. Oh, Salem. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. This is Salem. It makes sense. Why this is oh. <laughs> okay. Salem and Uminoko's music. Very good. Very wise decision. That's an interesting choice of music. Yeah. Damn! I never thought I would see an AMV related to Salem with Im Uminoko's music. Ah, oh, this song, just beautiful. Queen of Sheba, Roman, oh boy. Why is, wait, this is John. Oh, the witch trials, okay, I understand. Okay, I was like, the Jan was not in the. Okay, and then I realized. Amakusa Shiro Sarse Media. I like. I'm going to talk about it later on. The whole thing with Salem, like my experience, it was really unique. I have to say, Salem, comparing it to all the other, like you know. Epic of the Remnant. Oh. By the way, I've played Uminiko, so that's why I'm so into this song.
Oh ya, yeah, um, okay. I'm kind of remembering stuff from it now. The whole thing with Tituba and Oh boy. Uh, Mari Antoinette. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the circus, yeah, like the disguise that they came in. Okay, that's it. What? <laughs> Alright. Okay, that was, um, <coughs> excuse me, that was it. So, this was Salem, Salem's recap in a way, you can say. And now, one thing, uh, Salem, um, I think, like, Salem's, what can I say, the whole atmosphere of Salem in, in, in the game is so different. I, I think, like, it, it has, like, a, uh, what was it called? I'm, I'm really not so familiar with this thing, the whole, um, I think, Lovecraft, I think, the whole Cthulhu mythos or something like that. I'm, I really have no idea about that, you know, I've heard a lot about, like, uh, what was his name? Lovecraft? Just a sec. I forgot. H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah. Uh, okay. American writer of uh, science, fantasy, and horror fiction. Uh, love his the. Okay. It's called Lovecraftian horror. Uh, Cthulhu mythos. He became uh, known for uh, his creation of a body of work, which is called Cthulhu mythos. Um, I think I've heard about this. I I I don't know. Like someone discussing probably. You know, and I think Salem was kind of a mixture of that, like, you know, Cthulhu mythos and the whole, uh, you know, the witch trials that like the Salem, like, you know, the, the story that we had. And it was like a mixture of it. I'm not sure. Like, I really have no idea if I'm wrong about something. Definitely correct me down in the comment section. So it had like this kind of a uh, weird vibe, which is very different from all the other FGO, like, you know, like what do you call it singularities or lost spells you know uh, no not lost spells at that time lost spells were not out uh, singularities and the epic of remnants because like you know like all the epic of remnants the first one was with shinjiku and then like you know it was like a whole mystery kind of thing with like moriarty and all and then the second one was agartha where there was this Fergus and um uh, sherazade the third one was shimosa with the whole samurai you know you know like shimosa is one of the best like you know epic of the remnant um story arcs and then Salem with its very unusual and weird type of an atmosphere. It suddenly brings in front of us where we see characters actually dying. You know, like we obviously first we see Tituba and then, then there's like all the other different characters. Our servants were all going one by one. They were being hanged and everything. And it, it had a, like a weird type of a vibe as, as they say, like, the, like a horror, horrorish type of vibe. And it was fantastic. I love the atmosphere that Salem brought with it, you know, and uh, yeah, that was that was really like, you know, like memorable. I'll probably not forget, like, I'll probably for I forget all the, like, you know, intricate stuff that it had, but I'll never forget that feeling which we had during we play the, during the time, uh, like at least I played Salem. It, it was such a great and unique type of uh, experience <laughs> and uh, yeah, and for, uh, like this AMV here, it as as always, it kind of brings out the important portions, you know, what happened, all the like, you know, the the whole thing with the um, witch trials. We saw Tituba, then you know, like we also got a little bonus scene of Jandi Arc, you know, obviously because she she was like you know like uh, related to the witch trials, and we also saw Gilderace and all, and then. 
no like um abigail and the guy i forgot the guy's name um the uncle of uh, uncle was it the uncle yeah the, that guy I, i forgot his name anyways you know uh, uh abby's uncle or something we also saw him robin hood and like you know all the other matahari and yeah so it kind of showed us everything now for the song um the song is obviously umineko's song i think is this the visual novel song or is this the anime song i don't know but either of it this is either of like you know probably either of its song like the opening uh it was a great choice i have to say at least for this um like you know this particular amv which involves salem you know because uh, if you've not pl- played or seen umineko um uh like for a little summary umineko is completely what can i say like uh what can i say like it it focuses on witches you know so and the the the, the vibe that it gives out umineko obviously the uh, author of umineko is ryukishi 07 which who is one of the best writers you know and uh, he's also the creator of higurashi and you know like the It, it really mixes so well the song the vibe of the show in itself and also salem so it was a great decision to actually punch in umineko's song with this amv it mix, mixes so well with it and like people who have a little background on umineko like me will obviously <laughs> be a lot more excited because like i've played umineko and i know what happens there It's, if you've not played Umino can you, you, you think about like you know um, like watching it or playing I'm I'm not sure about the anime I think the anime was pretty bad I'm not sure you know but the visual novel was mm, fantastic um if you've not uh, played it and if you are a visual novel player definitely go check out Umino and Higurashi it's one of the best things that I have ever like you know come across but anyways that's a completely different topic for this um yeah it it was it was a great decision to actually punch in umineko's song with salem's amv it mixes so well and uh, yeah it 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 is very uh like uh, what can i say it sounds good with it you know with the mysterious vibe and everything eerie horrorish type of vibe and uh, yeah so that was it that was this amv and uh, it's been a while i've played salem so i can't remember as i said i can't remember most of the stuff i remember the important stuffs you know but most of the things i don't remember i remember the vibe that i got you know the whole thing and i remember a few of the important stuff you know all the deaths we had i also remember that scene where uh, i remember uh, the queen of sheba and uh, solomon's uh, like you know the the way like marsh and all of them were uh, like making a play in front of all the villagers and they told us the story of queen of sheba and um solomon you know so i also remember that 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 was kind of like i think there was like three questions that who was solomon asked or was it queen sheba no i think it was queen of sheba who asked the questions i can't remember you know like like that thing and that thing i really like, i kind of remember a little bit and all the like you know the the things the deaths and everything i remember those as well and the weird vibe and obviously the climax as to who the actual culprit like not the culprit but who is the main antagonist that whole thing and uh, yeah it was it was such a great like you know eerie type of a uh, feeling so yeah i would love to actually see um this animated you know like salem animated as a um, anime no but first i would want like if if there's like a animation of epic of the remnant i would really want Sh- shimosa's animation i like you know i loved shimosa so much especially because i had miyamoto musashi and the whole like you know samurai like thing was so cool i loved that so obviously like i would love shimosa's animation and salem I'm, i'll also appreciate if we get a salem animation as well in the future i know it it won't happen soon but who knows probably in the future you know so yeah we can just wish for it i guess <laughs> so yeah that was it the, that was my reaction to these two amvs so this was uh glossable 4 and this was salad so yeah it was great you know the songs were great the visuals were great it was so like you know well 
uh, meshed and uh, it, it mixed well with the song and yeah that was fantastic so that's it guys thank you guys for watching so, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out you can also recommend me uh, amvs to watch um if i like when i have time like currently i have time so i'm kind of doing these amvs whenever like you know like saber wars 2 will start i'll probably get a little bit more busy because i'll have to record and you know like put out the gameplay videos so i might not be able to do the amvs at that time but again when i get time in the future i'll check those out so you can recommend me in the comment section and uh, yeah and also the original links to the videos are in the description box if you've not uh, check uh, like you know if i've not seen it and you want to check them out you can do so so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next fgo video so until then goodbye and have a nice day